Boom, baby. Day number four. What do you say? John Jackson here with my uh, distinguished guest, Ted Thomas, the nation's leading expert in tax lien certificates. Nobody knows this space better than Ted. Uh, I only bring you the best. And so I bring you Ted Thomas. And we have been doing, this is now our uh, fourth segment of a four-part uh, installment series about tax lien certificates. Why are we doing this? It's about it's about August 27th. That's what all this is about. It's about August 27th, a one-day virtual event that TED is doing that you do not want to miss. You want to register, get registered, get your little booty there, and you will not be disappointed on the amazing stuff and the content that TED delivers from uh, 40, 50 I don't know. I think he's been in the business 120 years. <laughs> he knows this stuff. <laughs> I love it. Better than anybody. Ted has been around so long <clears throat> that Ted remembered Ted remembers when the Dead Sea was just sick. So <laughs> Ted. <laughs> All right, here we go. All so right, we did go. we've done a few segments here. And yeah. uh, I've actually gotten some emails from people because my list loves me. My people love me, Ted, and they respond, they we interact and stuff. So I actually have some questions. I've been asking you questions all week. I have questions now from some of my audience. Okay, good. My good. followers, there we go. So uh, um, is it possible, we talked about this a little bit on uh, the first segment, is it possible to get started in tax lien certificates if someone only has, say, a few thousand dollars to get started? Okay. Yes, you can get started for just a few thousand dollars. And I'd re I recommend to people for a couple of thousand bucks, take some money out of your IRA. And then when you buy it, do your, learn how to do your research, do the research, buy a tax lien certificate, now it's a passive investment. So you're gonna raise your hand, you buy a certificate, and then you just sit on it. There's nothing to do. Now, if you do it online, all that'll take place online if you want. You can do it both ways. And then you just sit and you have to wait. All right, now some tax lien certificates could be, let's use Florida. It could stay outstanding for as long as two years. Okay, so during that time, uh, Florida, the highest they pay is 18%. Uh, there might be some bidding. Some people bid them down. Uh, you'll probably make 10 or 12% somewhere in there. All right, so you'll start making money on your taxes. There isn't anything for you to do. When the people come in and pay, the county will either call you up and say, send your certificate in, or they'll send you a notice that they've already put the money in your account. Nowadays, they usually send you a text and say, the money's in your bank account. So they do it relatively quickly. There's millions of tax lien certificates. It's a very secure investment because you're buying the first lien on the real estate. So your investment is secured. You can't buy them from me. You only can give your money to the county. So you can buy small ones. With people that like tax lien certificates, for example, one of the people that will be on the 27th with us, I had lunch with him day before yesterday, and he bought $60,000 worth of tax lien certificates online in the last two months, and he earned $3,000. Well, that's not too bad when you think about making three thousand. He's already been paid back. And if they pay off early, he got paid off early and he made five, a minimum of 5%. So he made 5% in less than 60 days. He's not unhappy with that. So he's a very conservative investor, but he's going to show you that. He generally makes 18 or 19%. Will you make that? Once you learn how to do it, you can make all kinds of money. If you want to go to different states and do it, you can do that. You can do it all online. So this, it seems, and maybe I'm, I'm not putting enough barriers in it in, inside my head, but it seems like it's <clears throat> it's not that complicated. Are there complications to this uh, to this strategy? Well, here's the key. Um, the, most of the people that you and I know are entrepreneurs. And so entrepreneurs are gonna have a little trouble, you know, with ADD. You gotta, you gotta pay attention and you gotta focus. And so we're gonna teach it as a procedure. This is how, this is how you're gonna learn it. This is the research you have to do. This is your next step, your next step, your next step. And then you have to stay with the same steps all the time. So um, for me, that was relatively easy because my first career was a pilot. You can't even taxi out in the plane without going through a checklist. Yep, you can't yep, take off yep. until you do the checklist. You can't land until you do the checklist. So you get the idea. So you just need to learn the process. Okay, now the rules are all years and years old. Uh, they've been doing this for over 200 years. There's 3,300 counties. We're all going to have some little nuances you have to learn. But every auction list that's printed always has the auction rules in it. So if you're willing to, oh. to read the rules before you do it, you're going to be okay. 
Now we tell everybody, now, now everybody doesn't do what we tell them to. We tell everybody, look, we don't want to teach you to risk your money. So what we want you to do is you want to buy that property. We want you to go there or have someone you know, go there, take pictures. Everybody's got a camera in their pocket. Take, take pictures, make sure there wasn't a hurricane, make sure there wasn't a fire, make sure it's an okay property. Don't just say, oh, I think it's going to be okay. You need to do that. So there's just processes like that to learn to stay out of the risk business. So, so I, yeah, so ideally, I mean, these, if you do your homework and you know what you're buying, because you, we talked about this yesterday and the day before, is look at the property, preview the property, know what you're buying, uh, <clears throat> then the risk is mitigated dramatically just right there, knowing what you're buying. It is now there's before you go a, to the next question the next yeah. question, before you go to the next one okay so that's a that's a point we make we're saying always look at the property now when you're looking at the property this is the easiest time in the world because now you've got it in front of you take pictures of it all right what is your exit strategy yes what are you going to sell oh, it for you know what you oh know, so that's... you look and you say well wait a minute i can check comparables I can call, I can call the MLS, I can pull up Zillow, I can get Trulia, I can get eBay, I can get Craigslist and find out what the properties in this year, eBay's uh, and, and, and Craigslist, those are just local things. They're gonna tell you exactly what properties are selling for. So when you're looking at the property, if, if you say, well, I only can sell this for 100, well, make sure you're not gonna buy it for 120. Make sure you're gonna buy it for 40 or 50. So the process is look at it, figure out what you what you want to bid on it, but base your bid only on what you think you can sell it for. Exit strategy. Guys, I want you to listen to that. Know your exit strategy before you get in. Um, you know, my background for many, many years ago was a day trader. And there's a saying in the, in the day trading world, it's a, a long-term hold is a day trade gone bad. What does that mean? It means exactly that. Someone that's holding on to a stock for a long time, well, that was a day trade, but it went bad. Um, and so now they're like, well, uh, I'm just gonna hold this. I'm just gonna keep this in my portfolio. Yeah, because it just ate your lunch. Um, so you've got to know where your exit is. You don't buy a stock, even if you're day trading, you don't buy it unless you know where your exit point is, what you're gonna be doing with it. Uh, whether it goes for you, whether it goes with you or against you, know your exit. Ted, let's talk about some serious money. Okay. So we'll I know people are going to want to do some big deals and actually make an impact on their lives financially. And we talked a little bit about this on the first video, but uh, can, yeah. can someone legitimately make $25,000, $50,000 doing this online? Okay. Our, our goal in teaching people is to teach them to make twenty-five dollars to fifty grand on a property. So we get people come to us from all walks of life. So I'll give you a actual video and you can see this happen so i get a guy from from vancouver canada and i said look you just got to be cool about this okay i want you to go to los angeles he said oh uh, there'll be too many people there i said well let me send you a list so that you can see it of the list for los angeles and if there's a couple of thousand properties you think you could find some he looked at that list and said oh well now this is a different ballgame and I said, yeah, there's properties in here that the back taxes are $2 million. The back taxes are that much. So how big is that? All right. He said, Ted, tell me about the risk. I said, I want you to eliminate the risk. So listen to me carefully. I want you to try to make $100,000. 100000 that's right in my ballgame. So he did what I told him to. When the Los Angeles auction starts, Everybody's all riled up, all riled up. And as the day goes on, they're grinding out properties, but there's no auctioneer made in the world that can sell that book of properties in one day. So the treasurer says, tomorrow, all of you that will come back, we're gonna sell the properties for half of the taxes. He said, what? I said, half of the taxes. So we went back the next day, he invested $85,000. Now, you want to talk about big money. He invested $85,000. I'm going to show you this on video. He bought five re residential lots for his 85. So he's buying the residential lots. They had a value, according to the assessor, 
of one million dollars. They were worth a million. He paid eight and a half cents on the dollar in Los Angeles. If he gives an 80% discount, he'll sell them for 200,000. He only paid 85. Folks, let me explain this. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The, the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now we're gonna talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes and they had over 3,000 properties. And that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Renee Goche from Surrey, BC. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale, bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value, tax assessed value, is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties, and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the profit he made, just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? He paid 85, you could sell him for 200,000 with an 80% discount. It's the knowledge, not anything but. So by knowing when they're gonna drop the price and how they're gonna drop the price, or knowing which auctions to go to is gonna make a big difference. I can't tell you all of that on a couple of 20 minute videos, but I can give you a whole day of that, one person after another. And when I finish talking, I'm gonna show you that video of this man. And he just, he, he wasn't gonna to go to Los Angeles until I did this. Wow. When he saw that, he was buying in Los Angeles for eight and a half cents on the dollar. Okay, that's happening to the knowledgeable people every day. Now, you can't find a guy in real estate that's buying for eight and a half cents on the dollar. Well, how about if I got people right up the street in San Bernardino, one county away, buying for six cents on the dollar? So I'm going to ask you, wow. if you can get a property for six cents on the dollar, with no mortgage and no deed of trust, can you make money? Yeah. <laughs> if you drive out there and look at the damn thing and say, well, it's a piece of property. Can I sell it for more than six cents on the dollar? So the point is, I just don't know everything that I'd like to know, but I can tell you, you attend my class and go to five auctions, you'll be, your eyes will sparkle forever because you'll just know stuff. And, and, Wow. So it's guys, so this is it's totally completely viable, totally completely feasible that um a, a working family want to make even an extra 50 grand a year could do this from their computer doing tax lien certificates. You can sure can. And the people that don't want to go to California will live in Wisconsin and go over to Michigan and buy buy those properties for, for uh, eight and 10,000 bucks and sell them for 50 and 60,000, carry the paper, make yourself 25 grand on the deal or more, and carry the paper and make another 15 or 25. You do five houses like that, you're set for life. Yep. Not yeah. glamorous, there's nothing sexy about it. Uh, it's just basic business and been going on. Everything I say, every word I say in my seminar is 200 years old. <laughs> And speaking of seminar, August 27th, guys, August 27th, you do not want to miss it. Now, <clears throat> you got to be there, guys, August 27th. Uh, this is phenomenal information, powerful stuff, guys. Ted is the uh, actual authority in the nation on tax and certificates. Now, as we wrap all this up, the fourth day here of this ins uh, installment of uh, Ted Thomas here, 
Ted, I'm going to put you on the spot. I want you to show me the best deal you've ever done. Oh boy, I'm gonna you're you're gonna you're you're gonna go in the shock. Okay, so I've got a guy who started with me years ago, and um, he uh, he's a, a forester. He's one of those guys that go out in the woods. Like we, he doesn't work for me at all in the summer. He's out measuring trees for Weyerhaeuser and those big companies all over the state of Washington, Vancouver Island, and Canada, whatever. All right, so he um, he starts looking for these properties. He finds property. And uh, I'm going to show you as a video, but he buys a piece of property that he went to a sale in Oklahoma and he spent $67. And the people never paid the tax certificate. So he sold the property and you'll see the closing statement. And he got over $20,000 for it. Now, he invested 67000 You can't go to Denny's and buy four people a burger for $67. $67. So that's this business. It's happening all the time. There's all variations of it. You just got to look at it, stick your finger in the water and try it. He spent $67, got $20,000 back, and the paperwork's going to be on the video and you're going to see it. Ted, I love it. I love it. This has been phenomenal. And I uh, cannot thank you enough for your time just on these on these four installments. Guys, I've, <clears throat> this much information on four micro installments for with Ted Thomas. Imagine an entire day uh, with the experience and knowledge that this guy has to present to you. August 27th, you definitely want to be there. You do not want to miss this. Uh, you don't want to learn this from or try to learn this from any, anybody else. Uh, Ted and I have both. Uh, this is kind of on the side here, Ted, Ted and I have both been in the same room before when someone claimed to be an expert in tax uh, uh, lien certificates and it turns out that they uh, uh, had done like two of them. Didn't know, didn't know uh, crap from Shinola. So Ted right. Thomas is the, uh, is the expert. Uh, so Ted, I cannot thank you enough, man. I'm excited, man, August 27th. Okay, I'll see you there. Take care, Ted, take care guys. Bye.